I'm here with John Crow, who is seeking re-election to the Board of Directors for the Austin Board of Realtors. John, thanks so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, okay, let's start with an easy one. So yeah. give me your elevator pitch. Why are you running and seeking re-election? I have unfinished work in a simple way. I've been part of this and a, a part of a change and the evolution of the board. I've seen some great strides that we've made and a lot of progress. It's just not done yet and I want to continue the fight. Yeah, so on continuing that work, what do you think you can do to, to um, reinforce the value of Actress MLS for subscribers? Uh, it comes down to data, making sure that we have the best data possible and we're protecting that data for our members. We've, we've had some issues in the past and, and we want to make sure we protect that, but we also want to make sure we put members in, in the best position to help the community that they serve. And in looking at the association and the ABOR strategic plan, is there a specific component that you kind of want to lift up in 2023? Well, there's, there's three parts. I'm looking at from, from the actress strategic plan sure. to the ABOR strategic plan, and I'll start with actress. Uh, embrace innovation. I think things that we're doing, like the Remind, uh, our investment in Remind, is a really good thing. It gives us the tools to control our future, and that's a, really important to me as a member, and I, I feel it's the same way for others, because when somebody else has the tools, they tell you to kind of dictate how you actually work, mm. and the more we control, the easier it is for us to create that good future for us. On the uh, ABOR plan, advocate for the community and uh, elevate the industry. I think those two are, are so, um, I mean, they're, they're uh, they're tied together so tightly because on the uh, on the the advocate for the community, our job is to get involved and help protect homeowners' rights in a very simple way, and we do that by being involved in in local, uh, regional, state, and and uh, and uh, the national government. We also do that with the community that we serve, and these are the people that buy houses and sell houses, and making sure that that uh, we serve them the right way is absolutely important. And going back to that professionalism part mm -hmm. of the strategic plan. If we aren't prepared to do that for folks, and look, we've got almost 20,000 members right now, yeah. we need to make sure that we're putting our best foot forward. Because in, in all honesty, uh, people in the real estate business have known we've not always, uh, other, other professionals have not always reflected well on, on those who actually do really good work. So we've got to change that, but we've done so much work. And I have to say, one of the benefits of being on the board is watching you and your team. Yeah. Uh, crush it and the professionalism you can see that this this growth has kind of spiked up like a hockey stick over the course of the past well three years almost 19 but leading into a really difficult year in 2020 for the entire world mm. uh, but the the things that we've done to help improve the, the tools and allow professionals to be more professional has been incredible watching that work. Well, certainly in partnership with our board. <laughs> um, John, what do you feel like you bring uniquely to the table as you look at moving our association forward? Well, I, I think I'm a consensus builder in the boardroom. Um, mm. I, I like to think, I mean, I've always looked at it this way and I try to teach my kids this lesson. When, uh, when it comes to having a discussion with someone, even if you disagree with them, you should go into it with an open mind. Mm -hmm. There's two things that occur from that. One. You have the opportunity to learn from somebody, and you may change your opinion, you may change your mind, which is really important. Uh, the second part is you'll learn something coming out of that. Even if you continue to disagree with their side, you'll have a better argument the next time you go, uh, and maybe you'll convince them to take your side. But I like the consensus part, coming in here with an open mind uh, and, and listening to people and, and thinking, okay, I, I felt one way on an issue, but after hearing some of these other really smart people talk, I've changed my mind and I understand a better position for members is going a different direction. Love it. Um, and then as we think about the things facing our industry, the big challenges, is there one that keeps you up at night? What do you think is the biggest one facing a born actress? Well, right now there's this, there's this big dark cloud over us uh, and I think people are aware of that. Uh, there are folks that are coming after us to change how our profession operates and a lot of it is, is you know, people focus on the commission side of it, but people want to change the rules by, by how we operate. Uh, so that, to me, is front and center for us in the future. It, in this business, it seems we've always been, we, we have a tendency to be reactionary instead of proactive. And I'd like the ability to kind of think through the angles and how do we protect our members and their ability to earn a living. I don't mean this in a way that, that we're trying to, to hurt anybody out, out in the community. The, the thing is, in partnership with the community, because mm -hmm. we are a professional organization. We are professionals, and we, do a, we, we bring great value to the people that we serve. So how do we maintain our ability to earn a living and, uh, and also do it in a way that certainly sits right with the, these, uh, the, the people that make the decision from a legal level? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Uh, big stuff. Yeah. John, thank you for your service to date. We're so appreciative of all the work of our board of directors. Wishing you congrats on seeking re-election. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much and appreciate you being here. Thank you, Emily. Thank you all.